In this lecture, we will cover test completion activities. Test completion is the seventh activity in the test process. In the previous lecture, we saw test completion activities collect data from completed test activities to consolidate experience, testware, and any other relevant information. We will now cover the six major activities of test completion as mentioned in the ISTQB syllabus. The first activity is checking whether all defect reports are closed. The second activity is creating a test summary report to be communicated to stakeholders. The third activity is finalizing and archiving the test environment, the test data, the test infrastructure, and other testware for later reuse. The fourth activity is handling over the testware to the maintenance teams, other project teams, and other stakeholders who could benefit from its use. The fifth activity is analyzing lessons learned from the completed test activities to determine changes needed for future iterations, releases, and projects. The sixth activity is using the information gathered to improve test process maturity. Let's now understand each of these test activities one by one. The first main activity is checking whether all defect reports are closed. During test execution, we create the defect report, and in the test completion stage, we check if all the defects are closed or not. If not, we look for the reason. This is the first activity, checking whether all defect reports are closed. The second activity is creating a test summary report to be communicated to stakeholders. Since by now all the test activities are over, we create a test summary report. A typical test summary report includes test case ID, number of tests executed, number of tests re-executed, defect ID, pass and fail status, approval date and time and approver name. This report is then shared with the stakeholder. This is all about second activity, creating a test summary report to be communicated to the stakeholders. The third activity is finalizing and archiving the test environment, the test data, the test infrastructure, and other testware for later reuse. Till now, we saw to test a feature we need a test environment, which includes test setup, tools, software, test procedures, test scripts, and so on. After test execution, all these test wares are freezed and stored in a configuration management tool so that we can reuse them based on the customer's request. This is the third activity, finalizing and archiving the test environment, the test data, the test infrastructure, and other test wear for later reuse. And the fourth activity is to handing over the test wear to the maintenance teams other project teams, and or other stakeholders who could benefit from its use. If this is the final release to the customer, then all the created testwares are shared with the maintenance team. Based on the customer's requirements, if any changes are required, the maintenance team can use the testware to address the request. This is the fourth activity, handing over the testware to the maintenance teams other project teams, and or other stakeholders who could benefit from its use. The fifth activity is analyzing lessons learned from the completed test activities to determine changes needed for future iterations, releases, and projects. Since the testing activities are finished, we may now know the strength and weakness of the team. During test closure meetings, the lessons learned or test-related improvement points are discussed, and all the improvements points are recorded. This is the fifth activity of test closure stage, analyzing lessons learned from the completed test activities to determine changes needed for future iterations, releases, and projects. The sixth activity is using the information gathered to improve test process maturity. 
Based on the information gathered from the test closure meeting, a quality team then tries to address all possible points to improve the test process. Let's now summarize all the important points we discussed until now. The six major activities of test closures are checking whether all defect reports are closed, creating a test summary report to be communicated to stakeholders, finalizing and archiving the test environment, the test data, the test infrastructure, and other testware for later reuse, handing over the testware to the maintenance teams, other project teams, and or other stakeholders who could benefit from its use. Analyzing lessons learned from the completed test activities to determine changes needed for future iterations, releases, and projects. Using the information gathered to improve test process maturity.